Hi, I'm Julia. I'm here with my colleague Frederik. Frederik, can you tell us something about the application we can see here on the screen? Hi Julia, yes, for sure. So here on the screen we can see a typical traction drive motor. Um, and here we display especially that uh, we have a potential solution for a resolver replacement using TMR-based sensors together with an ASA 2310 chipset, which is an ideal solution for such kind of rotor position sensing application. Okay, and what kind of demo can we see here? So here in this demo you can see that we have uh, four TMR sensors assembled on this kind of PCB together with our ASA 2310 chip. And uh, it is also combined with a five-pole, multi-pole uh, ring magnet. And uh, this is a typical reference design which we have developed and which we also provide to our customers for some initial evaluation tests. And uh, what is uh, special about this application? Can we see something here? Yes, so um, here in this uh, setup you can see that um, the sensors, they measure the position of the magnet. And um, this is what you can see here. So the green line is more or less the calculated angle from these uh, sensor signals. When applying now an external stray field, which is in this case very huge. So here we talk about roughly 30 millitesla impact of stray field, which is here close to the sensors. And the impact of the stray field is almost zero, as you can see here. So the green line does not really change when applying an external stray field. And this is very important, especially for such kind of safety critical applications to not get impacted by, by such kind of stray fields. I understand. And what is so special about the new ASA chip inside this application here? So this is our second generation resolver replacement board. Here we use our ASA chipset. In the past, we also had a first generation of this resolver replacement board. And you can see already that the size has been significantly reduced thanks to the ASA chipset. Before we were using some off-the-shelf amplifiers and with the ASA chipset we could heavily reduce the number of passive components and therefore the size, the bill of materials and also, which is very important, we could reduce the fit rate of the overall system as less components are needed and this is predestinated for functional safety applications like the traction motor rotor position. Thank you, Frederick, for this detailed explanation and thank you for watching our video. So if you're interested in our new products, then just come around here in Munich and visit our booth. Thank you. Bye-bye.